feasibility study of computer vision based remote inspection of LHB coaches disc brake system. As per RDSO guidelines, coaches have to be inspected before each journey and a clearance certificate will be provided after which the train will begin its next journey. Various test is conducted out of which air brake testing is crucial and time consuming. Regularly, for air brake inspection purpose, brakes are applied and released. For each scenario, railway staff has to physically get under the coach in the pit line and visually verify whether the brakes are applied or not. Proposed solution was to introduce computer vision based system which includes capturing and processing of input infrared images using advanced image sensors and display the status of the disc brake in real time. Proposed system contains three stages. Image acquisition stage consisting image sensors that is IP cameras. Secondly, image processing stage with data processing unit. Finally, visualization of results through graphical user interface. IP cameras are used to acquire the images of the wheel and the brake pad. One IP camera is used for each wheel, hence a set of eight cameras are used for each coach. Data processing unit will power the IP cameras and receive the data from it. Later, with special algorithm, images are analyzed. Later, the results are displayed on the graphical user interface. The results will be displayed on the GUI where red color indicates brake applied status, green color indicates that brakes are released, blue color portrays that system is reset and yellow color indicates image processing is under progress. The results demonstrated the feasibility of using computer vision based brake inspection testing. It has been demonstrated that the time taken for inspecting the brake pads can be reduced considerably. The test rig is operated to release the air pressure. Once the pressure is released, brakes are applied simultaneously captured by the IP cameras. The obtained data is received and analyzed. The results are displayed on the GUI.